Welcome to another quality tutorial by FacultyDev.com These screencast tutorials should be viewed at a minimum screen resolution of 1024 by 768 If you are using Internet Explorer or Firefox, pressing the F11 key will switch to full screen viewing mode To return to regular viewing mode, just press the F11 key again for the most effective training experience, use this screencast tutorial with the print title, Adobe InDesign CS2 Revealed. Click on the cover image to purchase this title at Amazon.com. We hope you find this tutorial useful, and welcome your comments. This screencast tutorial will look at creating a working copy of an existing document. Refer to the section titled, Exploring the InDesign Workspace, in the print title, Adobe InDesign CS2 Revealed, for further details. When you start InDesign, an optional panel lets you choose from what's new, a selection of tutorials, and cool extras. If you don't want to view this panel when opening InDesign, you can clear the check mark at the bottom left. Three buttons give options for opening or creating a new InDesign document. Let's open the tutorial file from Chapter 1, and then save it to a new file name. Notice that you have the option to open the file as a copy. For this example, we will open the folder and then save a copy of the file to that folder. Click on the file, and then click on the Open button. You may get error messages when opening the file. Generally you can select the Fix option to resolve these problems. We'll use the file, Save, as dialog to create a new folder, and then save the file with a different name. Let's use the navigation controls, in the dialog, to move up one directory level. We can create a new folder from within the file, save asks, dialog, Click on the Create a Folder button at the top of the dialog window. You could also do this task by using the Windows File Explorer. The default folder name is New Folder. We'll rename the folder to Solution Files, and then navigate into the new folder. We have now created a new folder. Let's save the file to a new file name, Dessert Menu. Finally, we click the Save button and return to a working copy of the file. The tool palette has the most commonly used tools for manipulating text and graphics in your published document. Many of the buttons have several related tools, but only one tool is shown at a time. Tool buttons that have other hidden tools have a small triangle at the bottom right corner. Click and hold the button to show the other related tools. Let's look at the text tool. Notice that selecting the text tool also changes the properties panel at the top of the screen. The other related tool is the Type on a Path tool. Selecting the other tool changes the button face, and switches to that tool. Clicking on the Select tool switches the Properties panel again. Often, it is helpful to hide the various palettes. Using the Tab key hides all of the current palettes. Just press the Tab key again to restore the palettes. You can also toggle on and off the display of palettes by selecting them in the Windows menu. 
As an example, we can turn off the tools palette. Let's turn the tools palette back on by selecting it. Notice that when a palette is not displayed, it does not have a check mark beside its menu name. This concludes the screencast tutorial on Adobe InDesign CS2. For the most complete learning experience, consider purchasing the print title, Adobe InDesign CS2 Revealed. Clicking on the cover image will take you to the product page for this book at Amazon.com. The student files for this title are also available at www.course.com slash revealed. We hope you found this screencast tutorial useful, and welcome your comments.